Hey everyone, welcome back to Amalgamation Station. As you can see, this creature is a result of too many cans of root beer. Normally, you would be able to drink root beer without any problems. However, our good friend here has proven that too much of a good thing will turn you into an absolute menace. I'm not usually one for judging others about how they live their life. However, in this case, I'm going to. There's many different kinds of root beer that you can consume. You've got Mug, Barks, and A&W as your main ones. Now there's plenty other brands, but those vary by location, so like most things that aren't popular, we're just going to ignore them because why would we pay attention to them? Now that we've established our main suspects of our root beer phenomenon that has occurred here, we need to whittle down the choices on what could have possibly done this to our friend here. First up, let's talk about A&W. Now A&W is an interesting type. Typically it's the usual brand you pick when getting root beer, however that makes it not a pure prime suspect. Let me explain why. Say you're walking around, diddling around the store, when all of a sudden, you're like, I gotta have that root beer. I got to have some root beer. What are you gonna do in your frenzy? Grab a Barks and it's a gray case? No, absolutely not. Not because you don't like it, but simply because the suckas in the store hide it like a plague. They want you to search. They want you to fiend for a Barks. What about a mug? Nope, not a chance. Why, you may ask? Well, that pit bull on the front is too scary for the consumer. When you enter a root beer frenzy, the last thing you want to be reminded of is yourself. Look at the mug dog. He's menacing. He's mean. And he looks exactly like you in the mirror when you are fiending for a root beer. You turn into a wild animal. You become feral. You rely on animalistic instincts to sniff out a root beer. So what do the store owners do? They put out a boring A&W root beer in plain sight for easy access. This is why A&W is not the prime suspect for our friend's diagnosis. That leaves Mug and Bark as the contenders. After a thorough investigation, we can conclude that it is indeed Mug that causes its behavior. That pit bull sends you into a frenzy, a devouring animal looking only for a root beer for consumption. Look at his face. He's telling you something. He's saying to you, do it. Do it, you coward. Let go of your morals. Let go of your intelligence. Join me as the beast, the beast of root beer. And you oblige. Don't be upset. You have no choice. You're practically forced to do it. Against your will. You have to consume all around you in order to satiate your appetite. Unfortunately, this is what has happened to Astol. He's become one with the mug, one with the pug, and one with the bug. After transformation, there's only two ways to stop it. Either consume all root beer in existence, or become consumed by the root beer. That's exactly what I'm going to do for our buddy, our close pal here. I'm going to inject him with a root beer. That's right, I'm going to give him so much root beer that he's consumed by it. It's a risky maneuver, but I believe it's the only way to save his soul and his body. So far it seems to be working, however I'm having my doubts. He's slowly getting weaker with each injection, but at the same time it seems like he's getting worse. It seems like the root beer is too much for him, and it's possible that it's taking complete control over his mind. This is the worst possible outcome that could happen, but it's too late to turn back now. I have to continue for the sake of research purposes. I have to know the cure for the root beer disease. If that means sacrificing our homie, then so be it. He will understand it's for the greater good.